My name is Helen Jones, and I'm here today because I'm doing canvassing for the closure of Men's Central Jail. People are dying here and they're being killed, mostly by law enforcement. So I lost my son, John Horton. He was beat to death by 10 deputy sheriff gang members. So many others has lost their life before John, and many have lost their life after John. I want to make sure that nobody else go through what me and my family went through. I've had family members there. You are disrespected to a level that you are treated as an animal. It's overcrowded, and it's been this way for years. They simply cannot meet the need and the crisis that exists in terms of people's mental health needs in the jails. The Board of Supervisors in 2020 agreed that we would be closing Men's Central Jail. And in those four years, what we've seen is while the jail population has gone down, the jails are the deadliest they've ever been. Over 40 violent deaths last year alone in 2023. 42% of the population there has unaddressed mental health needs and the only way that we can close this place down is to have safer alternatives. We need 10,000 uh, more mental health beds and permanent supportive housing for these individuals who are not getting their needs met by being thrown in jail. We are canvassing to talk to neighbors about the closing of Men's Central Jail and things that is going on there and why. What's so special about our canvassers is some of them is formerly incarcerated and some of them are family members where their loved ones is incarcerated. We built up a team of impacted folks. They can understand because I give them my experiences my family members, my sons, my nephews, people that I know, friends and friends of friends that have been in those conditions. I had one conversation with a lady, 71 year old black lady. So she said that that would be good because they do need to open up more facilities to uh, address folks' needs. Uh, there was a lot of people in my precinct that were really happy about the men's central jail. Folks that I did meet, canvassing, a few other folks have incarcerated family members. They also want other alternatives, just like we're fighting for. 90% of voters want that jail closed, and people want alternatives. And unfortunately, uh, the board has not taken the bold steps necessary to fund what we need. Uh, and it's not gonna do that unless we continue to push. Stop being afraid of voting thinking that your vote doesn't count. We know that if we're gonna get this done, it's community that's gonna make it happen. And so we're asking folks to join us in moving this forward.